Welcome to Worship Leader Hangout. My name's Chad. I'm so glad you're here today. I've actually got my friend Drew here. Uh, he's going to show us uh, some really cool stuff with, with a guitar. It's probably why you clicked on this, because we believe that you should know this and know how to incorporate this into songs. Come on in, Drew. Let me uh, introduce him to you. So this is Drew, incredible guitarist. He's going to take it away, and I'll let him have it. I'm going to pick up this camera. You ready? Uh, yeah, let's do it. All right, let's do it. What's up guys, my name is Drew, and today on Worship Leader Hangout, I'm going to be showing you a very simple chord progression that you can add to uh, a couple of different CCM songs we'll be looking at, just to give them some extra flavor and uh, take out the just mundane straightness of them, being a one chord, a six chord, a four, and a five. What we're gonna do is we're gonna take a look at um, how great is our God. The normal chord progression for this song would be one, six, four, five, back to the one. So what we're going to do is we're going to add in um, a gospel chord progression, uh, seven, three, six, five, one, four. The five is going to be minor, um, and it's going to sound something like this. Now, another common song we can see uh, where this chord progression can be used is What a Beautiful Name It Is. And the chord progression for that one is one. Five. Six. Five. Four. Back to the one. All right, so we're going to add the gospel progression in on what a beautiful name. So what we did there in both of those songs, taking a, look, a little closer look at the chords, were... We started in, we were in D on both songs. So that's our one. Uh, we went to the seven. Spelling that out, that's just a C sharp, a B, and an E. And then we can add the A at the bottom. Um, then we go to our three. In this case, it's an F sharp. Uh, spelling it out real quick, it's just an F sharp, an E, an A sharp, and a D. Uh, we used the sixth chord in both cases was just a B minor. Now what I did here on the B minor was I made it um, a B minor 9 by adding the C sharp on top just to give it a little bit extra flair and keep it from being so straight. Uh, so spelling that out would just be your B, A, D, and your F sharp. And then if you want to make it a nine, just add in the C sharp on top. And then we add uh, the five, one, four to both of those songs. Uh, the five is going to be minor. So we're going to just take this same chord, slide it down a whole step, back to the one, we'll play it rootless, to the four chord, which in this case is G. Just using a little different voice in and then back to the one. So uh, I'm just going to play a little bit of both of those songs um, using that same chord progression throughout. I uh, hope you uh, enjoyed this video and you can learn a lot from it.